Hi Aries. Hi, 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 my dreamers. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your quick love message, okay? So, or quick message, basically, whatever the fuck comes out. We're going to just go into it today. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, or welcome back. If this resonates with you at any time, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, guys. Helps my channel grow and also helps us get out to other Aries like you. So please leave a like and that really helps me out um, and I appreciate each and every one of your likes. Comment the moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days, Aries. What else do I need to tell you? This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Aries out there. If it does not, I'm so sorry. But if it does and you like my vibe and you want to book a personal reading with me, all the information will be down in the description box down below. Also, guys, if you want to follow any of my social media, that will also be in the description box down below. I also just put out a second channel where you can watch me cook. You can watch me vlog. I just put out my Mother's Day vlog and my um, lamb, my lamb, uh, my lamb, what am I trying to say? My masala lamb chops recipe and vlog where, you know, some crazy shit happened. You have to go watch it. That will be linked in the description box as well. What else can I tell you about? Um, if you want to support my store, I did just release some bracelets here. I'm wearing two of them today that match my outfit. This is the Aquamarine Chakra Bracelet. And this is my Lapis Luzili Chakra Bracelet. This is what they look like. All right. And I also sell handmade candles. This one is called Prophetic Aries. Okay. Just the one I have handy here. I have another one too, but you know, this is what it looks like inside. I'll show you the other one I have. This one is my Mama Priestess candle. It was I put this out for Mother's Day. It's my High Priestess candle by named it Mama Priestess, okay? Because Mama knows best, just like High Priestess knows best. And it has kyanite in there. You can read about all the fragrance notes, all the healing properties of my candles, of my bracelets by clicking the first link in the description box down below. What else can I tell you about? Yeah, Aries, I'm doing your video because I got such a great response from your last video a lot of my aries resonated from that and i think that was the most that any of my aries ever commented and i read about all your stories and a lot of you guys reached out to me so i just felt like let's go ahead and get you done i just did aquarius if you're interested in aquarius i just put that one out but um yeah we're gonna get started with you also the song playing for you to start off was Zillots by the Fugees, um, Lauren Hill, Wyclef Jean, and I forget, I don't know who who is this, and Proz. Okay, so I like this song a lot. I never heard it before. I like it a lot, but I had no idea what a zillot was. A zillot is a person who is fanatical and uncompromising in the pursuits of their religious, political, or other ideals. That's definitely you, Aries, based on your last next forty eight reading. If you're new here, go watch your last next forty eight reading for Aries. I'm pretty sure it will resonate with you. But yeah, this is you. You're a zillot all the way. And zillot, zillot, you're that all the way. Look it up. You can read more about this this kind of thing. It's actually too, I think it's Jewish. I think it's from Jewish um, religion, this thing. But you don't have to be Jewish to be a zillot. Uh, I think that's just you, Aries. Also, was hearing by Rihanna. So you could be dealing with the Pisces. I was hearing by Rihanna, Sex With Me, So Amazing. Sex with me, so amazing. Okay, so, um, you know, I guess your, your sex is bomb. That makes sense because you are Aries. All right, let's get into your reading. Let me get you some. Let me play this Zillot music in the background for me. Oh, shit. It's too loud. I don't want to get copyrighted. All right, so let's see. Let's see what um, advice needs to come out to you whenever you see this message. One just came out. What does this say? It says, call, call bullshit on your bullshit. Okay. So in part of you being very spiritual right now, in part of you being religious, in part of you searching for your soul is what I'm hearing, you have to call your own self out on your bullshit. You have to take responsibility for when you're... It's kind of like when... Okay. It's kind of like when you're working out and you want to lose weight, but you're not getting up every day to work out or you're only doing half of your workout. You have to call yourself out like, listen, you said you want to lose this amount of pounds. You got to put that work in, that extra work in, in the gym. So it's the same thing if you're trying to go through a religious kind of workout or a spiritual workout. Whatever you're trying to do to better yourself, you have to be able to... Um, you have to be able to call yourself out on your bullshit here. And the back of the card, it says, once to get out of a rut... 
The first step is to get tired of the bullshit, your bullshit, their bullshit, the world's bullshit. Spend today owning your sense of deja vu, not deja vu, deja vu. Once you can spot the old shit, you can start to stop that old shit, okay? So just recognizing what's hindering you, what's holding you back. All right, so now we're going to see what's going on with my Aries. All right, Spirit, what's going on in my Aries right now? What needs to come out for them? What random messages just need to come out? What's significantly happening in their lives? What's going on in my Aries whenever they watch this video? Also, guys, this video is timeless, okay? So I do my next 48 for a reason. That's the next 48 hours whenever you watch the video. All right, but also this reading, which is not next 48, is timeless, just for you to know. But whenever you watch it, it should resonate somehow, okay? So let's see what's going on, Spirit. With my Aries, what's going on with them whenever they're watching this video? What's going on with my Aries whenever they're watching this video? Four of Pentacles. Okay, you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius Aries because that just came out in Aquarius's reading. You also have the Justice card here. Hmm, what else? The Lovers. Hmm. Could be doing with a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Or neither. This is just simply your energy here. Before we even get into this, I'm going to pull some random messages for you. Give me some random messages for my Aries, please, for whenever they watch this. So this wants to come out. What else? may wow so something's literally happening this month for you so this is timeless but really this is for may for you honestly truly okay so something's happening right now whatever we talk about is happening right now or happening before this month is over for you okay what else is this is over okay so you're ending something with someone this month some someone that you love because the lovers is here things are ending between you and this person this month it's over between you and this person it just is what it is what else this could be a Taurus. That's what's coming out right now. So you're ending things with a Taurus. Or something could have happened during Taurus season, which is literally... Is Taurus the season right now? I think it is. And it started when? Okay, you guys can look that up. I'm not good at, like, dates for um, signs. And, you know, I'll learn it one day. But today's not my day. But something could have literally happened during Taurus season, which is a part of May and a little bit of April, I believe. Okay, what else is here? I tried something new in sex without you. Wow. So someone, a reason that you and someone could be over is because they did something sexual without you. Like you weren't part of the party. They had sex with someone else. Or did you just found out something weird about someone? Or this was you, Aries. Maybe this was you. Because we were talking about sex with me is so amazing. I don't know. All right. So we're going to have to see. But you're going to get your justice from this. Either way it goes. But you have a decision to make. So it's kind of like spirits saying, hey, justice is here. But you have to decide whether you want justice or not. Are you going to keep dealing with this person or are you going to move forward, okay? And then also, let me light an incense because I need something to keep me motivated during these reads, guys. I just do. And good smells. I have a candle, one of my candles burning in the background, but I also need some good incense. Yeah, All Star is playing for you right now, so you're literally the best sex option for this person i feel like it's still not good enough this person just likes many options in bed that's the problem with this person they literally have the best sitting in front of them the all-star and it's just not good enough for this person they want to try everything they want to try even the bench warmer is what i'm hearing all right what's the four of pence please for aries give me the four of pence for aries please give me the four of pence for aries give me the four of pentacles for aries please The Hierophant is definitely a Taurus. Hmm, so you're holding back from a Taurus right now? Or you're just not communicating with a Taurus? Or you're, you're ignoring a Taurus right now, Aries? What else? You're just kind of fed up with this person, I feel like. Because they always entertain someone other than you. You're literally the best option for this person. And they're ignoring you. What else is here? Or you're ignoring them? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. So somebody keeps acting like they have so many options other than you. That they... Okay, 
it's either you're dealing with the Taurus or it's either that you want a commitment from someone, but they're just too hung over their options right now. And you're like, okay, that's cute. Well, you're going to lose me or I'm not sticking by this. If you thought so, what's the justice card, please? I feel like you're going to get your justice from this. Somebody's going to want to work something out. What is here? The nine of wands. Yeah. But I feel like this person put you through a lot. Like you stuck by their side for a long time. It still wasn't good enough. Also too with the Nine of Wands, it's like trying a lot of things. So you tried a lot of things with this person. It's still not good enough. They still want to try more. I feel like that's sexually as well. You did everything for this person sexually. They still want more. It wasn't good enough. This could also be fucking with someone's um, sex self-esteem right now. Okay. You also have the Page of Pentacles here. Hmm. So somebody also likes to meet people online, the Page of Pentacles. They like to meet new... I, I get the Page of Pentacles, someone likes to meet a lot of new options. They just can't help themselves. They just really like to meet new people. That's just their thing. And a lot of these people they meet is online. Give me the Lovers card, please. Give me the Lovers. The Lovers is the Three of Cups. Yeah, Three is a crowd. The lovers, three of cups. There's this person has you and someone else. You know that someone also could have you and someone who of the same sex, and that's been coming out so much in my reading. I don't know what's up, but same sex is popular right now. Four of pentacles in reverse. So you're letting this person go. You're just over it. You're letting this person go. You can't do it. Or somebody's like you feel like somebody's choosing someone over you, and you refuse to be. This could definitely be an Aquarius. You could refuse to be this person's second pick, second choice. All right, so that, yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. It's either it's going to be only me, Ace of Cups, one, it's literally going to be only me, or or you're not going to have me at all. Or someone feels this way about you, Aries. Okay, so let's clean this up, and then let's see what's going on with your homeboy, homegirl. That was quick enough. We're going to get one personality trait about this person first, and then we're going to go into what's going on with them at this time whenever you're watching this reading. Spirit, please give me a personality trait for whoever Aries is thinking um, thinking about, dealing with, or who's coming towards them. Give me a personality trait for whoever Aries is thinking about, dealing with, or who's coming towards them. Give me a personality trait about this person, please. Okay. The judge. Who did this come out for? Gemini. So you definitely could be dealing with the Gemini. Okay, so in Gemini's read, and I had some people who were mad at me about this, but I literally don't give a fuck, okay? In Gemini's reading, I read that Gemini is going to have two options or somebody was having two options over a Gemini. One of the options that Gemini had or one of the people that was in the third party is the judge. I feel like you could be dealing with the Gemini because of that reason because I strict, I remember this. But also this person is someone, think about a judge, they judge. This person is very like, oh, um, okay, let me just read the card and not say what's on my mind at this moment because I just got so many things coming up to me, okay? All right, let me just say what's on my mind. I can't help myself. This person, they do something to you. As soon as you do the same thing back to them, it's over, Aries. I feel like this person like feels like it's fair to do things to you, but it's unjust if you did that same thing back to them. I feel like that's a problem you had with this person. Okay, what else is here? The positive um, traits about this person. Balancing justice and compassion. Managing the fair distribution of power. I feel like they do this amongst their friends. When it comes to you, not so much, Aries. The negative trait of this person. Offering only destructive criticism. Okay, so this person's like... I don't know. I feel like there's nothing you can do right in this person's book. Or they're just very judgmental about things that really matter to you at this time. You could have like a lot of like goals. You could have like a lot of hobbies. You could have like even your religious practices, your spirituality practices that you're trying to share with this person because you love them. They're very judgmental and it really gets you down. But I feel like you're used to it with this person. You have tough skin, Aries. You're very used to it with this person. Misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. Hmm. This person can literally walk, um, work for law enforcement, okay? All right, so let's see what's... Ooh. Let's see what's going on with this person at this time. What's going on with your homeboy, homegirl? Spirit, what's going on with Aries, homeboy, homegirl? What's going on with Aries, homeboy, homegirl, please? Give me some cards. What's going on with Aries, homeboy, homegirl? during this time whenever they're watching this reading what's going on with their homeboy homegirl
Eight of Pentacles, okay? So somebody also puts work above you is what I'm hearing. Ten of Cups, but they have a lot of love for you, Aries. It's so crazy. This person can be so judgmental towards you, but they also have a lot of love for you. The Wheel of Fortune, someone wants to change for you. This could be a Sagittarius. They have the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Eight of Pentacles. Someone works a lot for sure. Somebody has a lot of love for you. Somebody wants to change for you, or you literally just have someone new coming in with the Wheel of Fortune. That's going to work better with you that you're going to fall in love with. So it could be either one of those stories. Let me pull some random messages for this person. And I just fucked my camera up. Hold on. Ugh. Having to put it on the stand is so too much sometimes. Ugh. All right. Give me some random messages for Aries, homeboy, homegirl, whenever they watch this reading, please. Give me some messages. Let's see. All right. Two messages want to come out. What does it say for my Aries homeboy homegirl? Spend time with family. Okay, so this person's family is very important to them. But I feel like they don't spend that much time with their family, but this person's family is very important to them. Okay, just for you to know that. What else is here? Marijuana. This is someone who smokes a lot. Who did this come out for? This came out for, I think, Aquarius or Gemini. So it could be dealing with one. Marijuana and Virgo as well, this came out for. All right, so someone's a heavy weed smoker. All right. All right, let's see what's going on here. Give me the Eight of Pentacles for Aries homeboy, homegirl, please. Every reading I've been saying same sex, and that's literally what I'm getting. And I know some people are like, are you dating same sex? I'm not, but this is what I see in every reading. Everybody's dating the same sex. I don't know what's going on. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles, please. All right. The Eight of Pentacles is the King of Wands. Okay, so hmm, somebody wants to work something out with you specifically. Also, you're the most attractive option to this person, but I feel like they still play around or they still weigh their other options. Why? I don't know. Aries are very attractive. You guys rule the face area. You guys are like the most attractive um, creatures walking, especially in the face area. All Aries have really attractive faces and, you know... Who doesn't like an attractive face? All right, what else? The star card. Definitely can be an Aquarius here. Very attracted to you, but still wants to um, weigh out their options here. But someone wants to heal things with you, they want to work with you again. Hmm. What's the Ten of Cups? Give me the Ten of Cups, please. What's the Ten of Cups? Let's see. Ten of Cups is the Page of Pentacles. Hmm, so somebody's been watching you online as well because they really care about you. Or you could have met this person online. So this could have been you who meet people online, Aries. What else is here? All right, the King of Cups. Yeah. Clarify the King of Cups. In reverse, for the King of Cups is the Hierophant. Oh, my God. Okay, so Aries, this is this person or this is you? Whoever this person is... They like to meet people online. This could be your person, because I said that this person likes other options and you're like pissed about it, or this could be you. This person likes to meet people online. They're very sweet to these people, but they have no intention on settling down with these people. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Pentacles. But things are about to change. I feel like you're meeting your match or this person's meeting their match with you because they're, they're used to Seven of Pentacles stringing people along. But they literally don't want to string you along. Things are about to change between this person. So you're literally changing a whole player out of their player mentality. Someone who's a player is not going to play about you. Like, they're changing from this. Will of Fortune, Seven of Pentacles. What else? Or this could be you, Aries. Like, someone's doing this for you. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is actually getting out of their player ways. The Five of Cups because they don't want to lose you, Aries. Hmm. Somebody doesn't want to lose you, so they're like, okay, let me actually just, you know, let me actually put some time and effort into this. Okay. Hmm. On the bottom of the deck is the Empress. So, yeah, this person is very nurturing towards you, and they, they'll do anything to suffice this relationship. I also feel like this person is infatuated with you at the time, Aries. So, hmm. 
All right, so this is your reading, Aries. This is your quick love message, quick message whenever you see this. Hopefully this resonated. If it did, please thumbs up the video for me. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple days. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my second channel if you're interested in that. It will be linked in the description box down below or even in the comments. If you want to visit my store, I do have my bracelets on there and my candles, okay? I love you, Aries, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.